stupid warm hands down. Hi. Uh, today uh, I sit here uh, with uh, Jacob Middeldorp uh, of KPN, and uh, we are uh, discussing uh, a um, very spectacular case of a ramp up of a new service called uh, Internet Plus Bellen. Uh, back in 2006-2007, in uh, for which uh, Jacob uh, um, was very much uh, involved in, uh, in uh, the aftermath and, and its subsequent uh, uh, recovery. Um, Jacob, uh, very nice to have you here. Thanks for coming. Um, Jacob, could you, uh, as a first question, could you uh, describe to us the situation at, at KPN back in 2005-2006 uh, in, uh, uh, and also the context within which this, uh, this uh, VoIP product IPB was uh, introduced. Yeah, of course I will. Thank you for inviting me and I can tell a little bit about the history of, of the IPB crisis. And um, yeah, if you look to that period of 2005-2006, it was um, actually the, the period after we had the big recovery of KPN. Eh? In 2001-2002, we, uh, we had some serious problems um, with, with our business and uh, with our financials due to all kinds of reasons, the internet bubble, etc. Uh, but after that period, you saw that we were recovering. Um, I think we were in a quite good financial situation but actually what what we saw is that we yeah really need to uh, to beat the competition um, the cable companies were um, were coming up quite quite quickly um, um, attacking our our fixed line cable network and basically we had a, a three-way strategy of exploit uh, defend and attack um, and um, Defend was of course defending our current customers, exploit, exploit getting them using more serv uh, services. But uh, what drove um, our, our, our strategy basically was, was the attack on the, uh, on the cable companies. And that's where, um, where uh, Internet Plus Bella, uh, it's the IP beast uh, dual play proposition we have for telephony and internet. That is basically what, uh, what drove our strategy in those years to ramp up very quickly on the attack of, uh, of the cable companies. So, uh, then you introduced IPB. Uh, was it a successful introduction? Uh, I think it was a very successful introduction. We started already in 2005 from the background that, that competitors already started in 2003, 2004. And we said, okay, we should do it differently. We saw quite some issues at that time uh, with competitors. They had some problems with ramping it up. And so we said, okay, well, we're going to do it uh, uh, the right way at, uh, at, at first instance. Um, and um, yeah, actually what, uh, what happened is that was it in, uh, in terms of sales, it was very successful actually when, when you see that KPN is introducing uh, new propositions, new services. Uh, yeah, that they make the market. Actually, we were making the market of uh, of the dual play um, uh, proposition at that time. So, Internet Plus Bella was the dual pro proposition with telephony and internet. So, it was it was yeah, it was uh, very very successful in in terms of sales. Yeah, so very successful, uh, and, uh, and 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 a very good service offering indeed. And nevertheless, there came problems. How did those uh, come to be? Yeah, if, if, if you see in that poor period of 2005, 2006, um, there were already a few rimples in, 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 let's say, the operational part of the company. Um, what you actually saw is that we were not very capable in, uh, in forecasting our needed capacities based on, uh, on, uh, on Internet plus Bella. Uh, that the complete chain of uh, what needs to be done to deliver it to a customer was actually more or less growing. It was not designed, but it was growing uh, through the years because we had that tremendous growth of sales. So yeah. every now and then we thought, okay, we see we're ramping up, we see some problems and we try to fix them on the move. Um, so there wasn't any 
big design on how we should ramp up. It was just given by uh, the success of sales that we uh, need, needed to ramp up. And I think we, we only discussed, and I was in those management teams at that time, and I think we basically discussed uh, the competition, the enormous success of growth, and um, of course there were some some worries. We saw raising complaints, we see numbers of, uh, of, of, of uh, calls at the contact centers, but still uh, more or less not looking uh, at the real problem though that was behind that. And it really had to come to uh, more or less to a, a big collapse. To be very honest, forced by, by, by the external media and television, etc., that, uh, that made a thought, uh, this is not the right way. So, uh, that was the IPB crisis, uh, I think, as it's uh, nowadays also called in, in, in KPN. Um, what did you do to, uh, uh, as management to, uh, to overcome that crisis? Yeah, uh, yeah that crisis was, was at the end of the day was an enormous number of calls, an enormous number of complaints, um, an enormous of, uh, uh, hand, uh, handling need to be done by all kind of back office and engineers so that what you saw is that all the capacity groups were not able to cope with the enormous number of, of, of sales. And that what, what, what we actually do was, uh, we formed, as we call it, as now known, the Mars route. It was a, a team um, uh, of people, senior management people, uh, yeah, that must change that way of working. And actually what we started with uh, was crisis management because First of all, we said we stopped selling because uh, the problem is caused by the number normals of sales and we don't know what's happening in the rest of the company. So we're not in control, a completely lack of uh, control of the complete chain. So what we first did, we stopped sales and uh, first of all, what we tried is to, yeah, to work with all the, the uh, yeah, the buckets we have with a lot of complaints and a lot of business uh, that, that we first should solve. So we first emptied the complete chain with all those customers uh, and that was more or less crisis management. Uh, next to that we, uh, we start thinking about okay what do we need to do to really solve this problem. So what we first did is our uh, diagnostic um, what we did is to see where really the root causes of this crisis were and actually it was not that difficult because what you saw is that it were all individual stovepipes. As I, as I just told you in the beginning that we're, we were in the next phase after the crisis of KPN, you saw that we were very successful in individual pipelines, in individual p &L. So all businesses, contact centers, was completely separated from engineers from online, from everything, back office, etc. So what we actually do and what we saw with our diagnostics is that, that the integral chain was missing. So what we did is we designed a new chain uh, and that chain able to cope with that number of cells. So diagnostic first, then develop a new chain of the complete service chain. And I think most important is that we start with, uh, with sales and operations planning because um, at the end of the day it's not only your diagnostic and your model that helps you and the way of working and the way you implement your organization, but at the end of the day it's having the right forecast and know based on your modeling that you're capable to handle these kind of sales. So that was basically what we did in a number of phases. First stop stalling, uh, stop selling, solve your main issues in a crisis management, design, diagnostic design and then your sales and operations planning. And actually what we do today, that we're still in the rhythm of sales and operations planning, every, we, every month a demand plan, every month uh, a 12 month to 18 months outlook and it's, yeah, it's, 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 it has become part of our nature. It's only for three years but, but I may say that it, uh, that it already has become part of the nature that everyone asks, okay, if there is no SNOP, if there is no good forecast, we're not going to ramp up with anything. Yeah. In terms of, uh, of, of business results, how, um, uh, what, uh, what, what were the results? So, yeah, commercially we start off with a great success. 
Yes, yes, that, that, that's true, Hank. It, it, it was commercially a very great success, but, but, but and at the end of the day, um, it cost us a fortune. Because if you look to all the errors that were caused by the enormous amount of sales, that, that, that it wasn't scalable at all. So uh, first we had, uh, for instance, with installation we had an issue. And if the installation was right, we had a billing issue. So it keep coming. So uh, I, 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 um, it cost us tens of millions of, of euros to really uh, serve those customers. And I think that both from the perspective of cost, but also from the perspective of quality, yeah. first, first, first time resolution, what, yeah. what, 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 what is, I think, very important for customers, that we really had an issue on that. So we had a very high cost and we had, yeah, just, just customers that were running away from us that, that, that were not pleased with us. So on the commercial side, we had a success. On the operational side, we had a tremendous cost issue, and we had that um, um, issue on customer satisfaction. So at the end of the day, uh, we really needed to change it. And I think that if you look to, uh, uh, to quality and cost, they're very much in line with each other. So if you know what to do in your different capacity groups, if you know how to handle the number of, of sales you do to handle that in your contact center, to handle that with your engineer, to handle that in your billing, in your back office, etc. Then you're able to deliver a good service. And if you're able to deliver a good service, you have less of complaints, you have less of calls, and then you're really able to, to, to reduce your cost. So yeah. it's very much in balance. Well, that was a, uh, quite a... Uh, an experience, uh, one might say. Yeah, definitely. For you, any uh, uh, what are the main lessons learned of this particular instance for uh, for, for yourself, for KPI management, for management of services in general? Yeah, I, I think we we learned a, a few lessons. I, I think that uh, I think one of the basic lessons is never start before you have a good design of your chain. I think that's what we really learned, and 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 we knew it from the past, but. Giving that situation, it's it's so easy to forget it and and and, and to know where where what you've learned over the last year. So, what I've learned is really draw up a very good chain, draw up a very good uh, way of doing your diagnostic, and keep planning, keep planning, do a sales and operations planning. And I think that's uh, if, if if we if we look today, then it's I, I was there. I I know what what happened, but. There are a few newcomers, and it's sometimes difficult to to get them engaged on the idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that you really need a sales and operations mm -hmm. planning, that you really need your diagnostic, and that's something that that I think that that's what I've learned, and what I try to tell others to be aware of this phenomenon and and know that how it can go wrong if you don't. So that that's something I I, I definitely uh, learned myself, and what I also learned is that. Um, uh, being more or, or, or less the, the, the face of KPN as I am with my name under letters and being on television, uh, that is not always pleasant <laughs> if, you're, if you're that face and, 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 and yeah, people take it personally and, and, and I, I think and, and they're right because at the end of the day KPN is a, is a, should be an outstanding uh, performing company and, and that's what I want to be and that's what KPN want to be so that's what you really should keep in mind. And Sometimes it's good to talk about it like this because it gets you back on to those days and, and remembering what 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 happened and and yeah what 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 shouldn't happen again I think. Yeah. Thanks very much for sharing these wonderful insights uh, with us. Okay, thank you very much. It was a pleasure, Hank.